Well, let me first start by saying I'm impressed that you actually click the play button on a video that actually is about terms, jargon, acronyms associated with virtualization. I'm impressed, but I promise you this is not going to be painful because when we're talking about the words and the terms that we're expected to know in virtualization, it's really no different than, than anything else that we have in life that we experience. I mean, think back to being a kid. When adults would talk to each other, they'd say all sorts of things. They could talk for hours. And when you're just a kid, it's like in those Charlie Brown cartoons. Wah, 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 wah. But then we all grow up, and there's a whole tapestry of words that I'm comfortable with now that I never was then. So how do we make that transition from feeling in over our heads and everyone saying wah, 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 to feeling confident about the terms that are associated with virtualization, or really any other subject that we want to learn? And the answer is we take things one step at a time. How do we eat an elephant? One bite at a time. So let's take some of these fundamental terms and see if we can make sense out of them. Uh, hypervisor. The hypervisor is really just a specialized operating system that's going to get installed bare metal, which means it's actually going on the hardware, which in the vir case of virtualization is going to be the exception rather than the rule. And so the key job of that hypervisor is to host, and in fact, sometimes we simply refer to a computer that has a hypervisor installed on it as a host. What is it hosting? Virtual machines, which are each going to be assigned their own virtual hardware. And on those, we will run guest operating systems that are not installed bare metal. They're installed onto the virtual machine. And so in order for them to run, they require a hypervisor. Are we having fun yet? Let me give you just a couple of other hints when it comes to jargon and terms that will be helpful. Whenever we see an acronym in the world of virtualization, there's a good chance that if it begins with a V, it's going to stand for virtual. So VM, virtual machine. VNIC, virtual network interface card. VCPU, a central processing unit, but it's not the real physical central processing unit. It's a virtual CPU presented by your friend, the hypervisor. Sometimes it's the acronyms that really start to give me some tension when it comes to understanding jargon in technology. And I want to let you know something. Acronyms are really your friend. Is stringing together a bunch of words to mean something really, really specific. So let's play one of these out. Uh, let's take the acronym VDI. What does VDI stand for? Well, take a guess. What do you think the V stands for? Of course, virtual. Desktop infrastructure. So let me give you two tricks that will help you learn acronyms and be more confident in understanding what they mean. The first one is to say it backwards. Kind of spell it out as a sentence. And the second one is to think of opposites. Because sometimes it's easier to understand something if you think about what it's not. Okay, so let's try that with virtual desktop infrastructure. So VDI, virtual desktop infrastructure, is an infrastructure for desktops that is virtual, right? I said it backwards kind of as a sentence. Okay, all right, chew on that a little bit. Now let's think about what it's not. So virtual, meaning it's not physical. Desktop, meaning it's not servers. We're talking about where the user sits. And infrastructure, when we think about infrastructure, that's, that's the stuff you can't see. Right? If we're talking about a house, the infrastructure is your foundation. It's not the front door. It's certainly not the couch you've got in the living room. So infrastructure is the not visible portion. Do you see how we broke that down? And sure enough, my friend, VDI is just a way to say we're doing desktop virtualization. But notice by spelling it out with this acronym, we're not focusing on what's in front of the user. They see a desktop with icons and buttons they can click and applications they can run. But the infrastructure, the behind the scenes stuff, is going to be what's virtualized, what is not physical, but is done through the power of hypervisors. My friend, that's enough for now. Nobody needs to drink from the fire hose today. But I just wanted to encourage you that although initially the words, terms, and jargon associated with technologies like virtualization can be daunting, the joy of getting educated about this process, about dealing with it systematically, is that you can create those building blocks to learn more and more and expand your knowledge so that you can have confidence not only in working with the technology, but in talking about it intelligently with others, asking the right questions because you know the right words to say. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.